Welcome back to Superstition Mountain. I'm out here with Henry Fall and we're doing some work for MiloLinesGolf.com and I'm really excited about some of the projects we have going on and there's a new series on the on the, the website on making your golf swing more dynamic and we go into extreme detail on how we do that but today we're going to give you kind of a little insight for all of you on YouTube and hopefully you really like this video. So Henry if we want to make our swing as dynamic as possible there's some principles and a lot of it has to do with how we sequence our motion so that we get our muscles to load correctly, right? Because if I swing it up here to the top and I unload it in the wrong order, can I hit it very far? Definitely not. So if we want to be able to create maximum speed, we have to do it in the right order. And that's a lot of what this series talks about is how to do that. So today, let's, let's walk through some of the principles. So if we're set up, we're going to smash a driver out there. The first thing we have to do is we have to wind our bodies up, right? Right. So what I like to see is I like a little trigger move, something to get myself going, and then I wind up, okay? So when we're winding up, what is that doing? Well, you're just loading everything, right? Yeah, so so it's, we're spiraling up. We're, we're loading it up. Spiraling some things up, which elongates some of our muscles, right? So that then we can contract them and get them moving. So I often hear that people talk about how our muscles are not like coil springs. However, if a muscle is loaded, I did this example in the series where I load a muscle I try to use it without loading it first and hit something and I, mean, I hit it pretty hard and then I load the muscle correctly and let it unload and I about break the table. Right. And so a muscle that's loaded definitely has a lot more potential energy, right? Right. I mean if I was going to slap you and I was like right here, that's not a lot of load, but if I really if you really Hold get it up. back here and then you get the, the change of direction to happen in the right order, you can make this you, arm go pretty fast. Down. You'd hurt me. <laughs> exactly. So that's what we're after here. We're trying to figure out how to load everything up yeah. and then start the unloading process at the right time, right? So does everything unload all the, at the same time? Definitely not. There's a sequence to it. It's a chain reaction. So as my hands finish going back, what's happening? Well, we're going to start to use the ground and then sort of our core muscles to get into the ground, right? And start that chain reaction. Which creates a little bit more stretch, right, in those right. muscles. And then they can start to slingshot around. And you see this in the best, like Cameron Champ. I mean, he is going up, 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 hands still going up, and then he starts down. So yes. you get this major stretch. Now, what's really interesting, you do this really well. When you get to the top of your swing, which way does your belt go? If you pay attention, which way is this going? That lead side of his pelvis is not going up. It's going down. So that creates even more stretch from our body that's gone up. When I'm swinging well, that's what it does. <laughs> when, you don't, when you don't swing well, you tilt the other way, and now you're not good. But we're not doing that. There we go. So that's what happens when we do it right. And what did that do here? Did you feel how that created a whole stretch on your left side? Yeah, and I can feel in my right oblique too. So you start right side bending right away. So right. you start to feel this right side bend happening. That's, that's what we're after. So we're creating beautiful. So that's created a whole stretch along here. Now all those muscles are ready to go and they can unload through the golf ball with lots of speed. Yeah. Awesome. Well, now that we, we know that, let's see you hit one and see if you can actually execute. Oh now don't kill anybody down range. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll aim a little left. I might take a little off of it, but oh, this will line stick. So I'm going to go up, up, up. You're going to see my trigger too. I actually kind of kick my left leg in. So, yeah, so like, you have a little boom. counter rotation and then you rotate yeah. up. It's pretty interesting. I, ever since I was a kid, I started doing that. Well, that's my standard little peely cut right there. Well, that's a pretty good one to have in the bag. He just yeah. flew it almost on the other deck on the other side with a little soft cut. Yep. And the sequence of that motion was really good. Because that was probably right around 120 club head speed and you didn't even try, right? Yeah. And when, when you look at my swing on slow motion, as you alluded to, my hands continue to go up as I start to kind of make that move into the ground and 
that transition. Everybody who creates lots of speed does it. Yep. It's just, it's how it works. And most of the amateur players that we see on the T-deck, the what do you see from them? First thing that happens is their, their hands are coming down and their belt's going up. Yep. So if we want to do the opposite, we want to be able to smash it, create lots of speed, we want to create that stretch where our belt's going down as our hands are finishing going up. Right. And that's going to create lots of, lots of torque in our, in our muscles and they're going to be really loaded. It's an awesome feel and you get that nice feeling of that flow to everything. That's awesome right there, bud. Goes off. Yep. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out. Also, I'd love to have you as a member of MiloLinesGolf.com where I can help you one-on-one -on -one to improve at your game.